Welcome back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Today I am going to show you how you can use Wise Cams, IFTTT, and HomeSeer to have a make your camera a motion detecting device that will uh, turn lights on or off or do other things. Um, because what I'm trying to do is I'm slowly migrating away from my X10 devices and going mainly to Z-Wave. And at my front door, I have a Z-Wave, not a Z-Wave, an X10 motion sensor. And I've let the batteries die in it because I just kind of quit using it. Uh, but now that I've got the Wise Cam uh, in front, at my front door, I thought this might be a good opportunity to turn my light off and on. And within the IFTT application. I did a prior video on how you can hook up WISE to your IFTT to send text uh, or you can integrate it in with HomeSeer. So I've done another video on that so I'm not going to dive in too much on that but I am going to show you how you can have the WISE cam actually trigger events within HomeSeer. And it's as simple as going into IFTTT and saying if this, um, so let's just search wise. And I have already connected my account because like I said, I did this uh, in a prior. So it's just as easy as saying if motion is detected and you pick your device, the front door, we create a trigger. And once we do the create trigger, then we do that and again you're going to have home seer linked into your account and i've already done that and once you bring in you can say run an event turn on a device turn off of the device i mean there's a lot of things you can do but here was the situation that i wanted i wanted it to do more than just turn the light on and off because if somebody walks up in the middle of the day i don't want my light to turn on and it's already on at night and if you trigger this event you know you want it to turn back off so I wanted it to do a little bit more and to do that um, you can run a home seer event and you know events allow you to customize and put different parameters that have to be true before the device will trigger um, but one of the problems that you run into is within home seer you can do events um, like here in IFTT I'll, I'll do this one you can do events and make them um, trigger based off of a, you know, like an outside event. Um, and you can just say it's like event is manually triggered. Um, the problem with this is if you say have the wires trigger this event, it will always run regardless of your conditions. So one way to get around that is I went back and here I've got the front porch. I created a virtual device and this virtual device it does nothing except have a name and it has an on off status so this gets turned on as you can see there was movement today at 148 it um, it turned the the camera on and off because um, well, it was actually on I just turned it off but but it triggers throughout the day and but I don't want my light going off and on so this is just a virtual device that I use inside the event. So let me go back over here to my event and you'll kind of understand what I've done here. So in the, um, the event here, um, I created an event called Front Door Motion. And what I'm gonna do is, is now I'm using that device turning on or off as part of the trigger as well as a time base. Um, and what this does is it keeps the light from going off and on, you know, early hours when I want it to, to kind of stay on. I, I leave it on until 11 o'clock every night. So this gives me the option of when this device value changes to trigger at that specific time, but only if the other criteria is met. So I've got in here if the sun, if it's before sunrise and after 11.55. I just wanted to do that before 12 o'clock because the day and night and it, it just I, I didn't want to mess with the time so I just did 11:55. you can do whatever time you would like and what I've done here is if this is set to on and the time is 
after 11.55, but before sunrise, we're going to set the front porch to on. And what, what I do then is I've come in here and added a second device control, and I say control device, and I turn the front porch light off after eight minutes. And I also do a reset on the front door and I just want to make sure it's set back to off so that way if it's ever triggered again it'll come on and work right. So basically this is going to do is IFTT is going to send an event trigger or a, a device trigger to my virtual device. It's going to turn it on and it's only going to work if it's turned on the time is set to this condition it'll turn it on eight minutes later it turns everything off. And that is it on the home seer side. So what you want to do is you want to get these set up within home seer. So now that we're in back in the IFTT, you remember I went and created the if the wise cam detects motion at the front door. And now I'm in here to what it's going to do. And in here you want to you first you want to make sure that you've saved your events and your virtual devices because you got to save it for IFTT to pick it up. So once you get those saved, you have to do that in HomeSeer first, then come over to IFTT and you can do your setup here. So like I said, I use the Wise Cam, if the motion is detected, and now I want it to turn on a device. And now it's going to load the devices. And what I'm going to find is my virtual device, which is the IFTT front door motion. And I'm going to create an action. And once it gets created, now it's set. So if motion is detected on the front door, then turn on the virtual device. So it's going to come over here to Home Seer, and it's going to turn on this virtual device. So let's just say it turned on right now. Now let's go look at the event. And if we come down here to the events, and we look at the front door, it still hasn't run, which is not supposed to because I have the time-based conditions in there. So just for testing, uh, just to show you how it works, let's remove this and remove this. And I'm going to go back to my virtual device and turn it off. And now let's turn it back on. And it's back on. And I'll go back over to our events. And now if I go down to IFTTT, and it ran today at 11.59. So that's just a good way you can test it. Um, and I'm just going to come back in here and say if it's detected. And we're going to say the time is date. The time is, and let's put, uh, well, first of all, let's say it is, the time is, there's so many that you can pick from. So we're going to say the time is after. 11.59 p.m. and we're going to do the time is before sunset or sunrise before sunrise okay and you can even pick like 30 minutes before sunrise if you wanted to so now I'm all set um, this uh, should turn that virtual device back off because like I said eight minutes later it should turn off and then I'm ready to go for the next uh, event trigger okay guys I forgot to mention one thing started editing the video and I realized I'd left out one key feature uh, that since the camera is triggering throughout the day you get deliveries uh, it's turned that virtual device on and the only way to turn it off well, you saw we set it in our uh, event that if it turns on after you know midnight and before sunrise it turns it on and then turns the event, uh, virtual event back off to reset for the next event but if it happens during the middle of the day it stays on and it never gets turned off so what I did was I came in here and in my turning the outside lights off um, I have in here just turn off the IFTT virtual device as well so uh, that's a way to reset it and get ready for any events that happen overnight. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please don't forget to 
list them below and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like the video and please subscribe to my channel um, I'm not coming out with as much content lately gotten a little busier at work but I am trying to keep uh, up with at least getting as much as I can out if not every week every other week so bear with me on that and I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the, the my latest video thanks and have a great day